Welcome back, guys. This is now the four month update of our 25 way graphene coatings and sealants longevity test. Again, I apologize about the late updates this month. I've had a lot of new stuff coming in October, so please stay tuned for that. And we'll do our usual foam this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. Rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then of course inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off. If you do see something you like and plan on purchasing it anyway, please consider using the links provided in the video description as it does help the channel out. 100% of the money received goes right back into this channel for testing more products. So if you'd like to further support the channel, ways to do so are on your screen here. This channel is 100% unsponsored, so there is no outside influence or any sponsors to have to please or anything like that. As always, the last 30 days of weather, as well as the lifetime weather that this hood has seen is on your screen now. This hood sits outside of our shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week, exposed to the East Texas elements and is rotated either 90 or 180 degrees after every time we do an update on it. And we'll continue this until about the two year mark, depending on how the rest of the products are holding up. If we come down to the top two or three, probably not gonna continue it past about two years. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and see how things are holding up. Again, if you follow the weather, it's been relatively warm, high average temperature, and we've had a decent amount of rain. So let's see if that's affected anything. All right, Drive Auto Nano. Looks like it's showing a little bit signs of weakness, but it's doing all right. 4210H graphene spray that had failed early on around the 30 day mark. And 303, the new versus the old. Don't know if we had a bad batch or what the deal was. Looks like both of them are weak. However, they are performing similarly. If anything, the new batch slightly better. Graphene sample A pre-production looks extremely hydrophobic as does Glossit Graphene. You can see Glossit is extremely hydrophobic. And moving down to pre-production sample B, there were two products on that. Both have pretty much failed I think around the 30 day mark. IGL Easy Graphene, that is a store bought, or not store bought, but non professional coating. And looks like it's doing well, as is the cheap Amazon 4210H Graphene coating. I don't recall what I paid for that. I'll have to go back and look, but something like $30, I think, for that coating. That's pretty good performance and longevity so far. Ilho, that's the AliExpress $3 coating, already failed. Drive Auto Graphene, not looking nearly as hydrophobic as the non-graphene, but still doing all right. And Ethos Resist Graphene Spray, looking good, but you can see just a slight sign of weakness, but not too bad. Adams Graphene 9H Spray, doing very good. And Extreme Solutions Graphene Spray. Showing a little bit of signs of weakness as well, but still hanging in there here at the 180 day mark, or I'm sorry, 120 day mark, four months. Graphene, gra uh, Glassparency Graphene Spray, looking very hydrophobic, and IGL Kenzo Non-Graphene compared to the graphene. You can see the standard definitely appears to be a little bit more hydrophobic than the graphene version, but both seem to be doing very good. can definitely see a little bit a little bit more hydrophobic properties of the standard versus the graphene when you compare them side by side and glass parency graphene coating it's looking good not nearly as hydrophobic as the extreme solutions but still doing very good in both instances Adams graphene 10h coating looking good Ethos, Graphene Matrix, also looking good. 
the two turtle wax paste graphene waxes they are both weak they have been that way they're still performing the same way since it was about 30 days old so i don't know do we call it failed at the 30 day mark or just weak all the way up until four months sps graphene looking good and turtle wax graphene max wax versus the flex wax max wax now we are going to call weak now at the four month 120 day mark and flex wax looks like it's still doing all right so there you have it that is your four month update what do you think are there any surprises anything you're rooting for if you saw a bunch of products labeled graphene in the store would you buy it just because it said graphene let me know in the comments for me it does nothing it's, it seems like it's like a buzzword where when the glass coating or the si02 or or you know it's just a buzzword it seems like everybody's jumping on that train right now what do you think let me know in the comments i'd really appreciate it guys so that that's your update we do have other test coming here very soon working on my glass coatings for the windshield all of that working on that test it's going to be split into two parts one with wipers one with longevity and so that i'll get into that here it's, i'm planning on starting at least part of that october 1st as well as a chinese ceramic coatings and a professional only ceramic coatings test the professional only will most likely be live on october 1st and the chinese ones if i get it done in time it'll start the same time otherwise it will be starting in november so there you go guys thanks again for watching we'll see you soon